guys! Today I'm gonna do a very highly requested video as of since I cut my hair, which was my hair care routine and styling situation from wet to dry. I'm gonna take you guys through like my hair washing process, the styling process, the products I've been loving. So I'm gonna start everything off the night before. So let's rewind to last night when I was washing my hair with these new Red Ken products. They're both from different ranges, but they're both newly launched. So first I use the High Rise Volume Shampoo, which is so good. Like this is first day hair and I never get this much volume or texture in my hair. I'm so obsessed with these shampoo and conditioner range. I love the L'Oreal Al Vive as well when my hair's a bit drier and I love most of the Pureology hair care as well. But these two are my current favorites. And then I use the Beach Envy Volume Texturizing Conditioner just on my ends. And I find that definitely helps add a lot of texture. I don't really like the slippy feeling of first day hair when it's like really swishy. I like grit. So that gives me a little bit of grit, but it's quite hydrating at the same time. After I get out the shower, I use my favorite thing of all. This is my Tangle Teaser and it has little dogs on it and it's pink. So it's literally my favorite thing on planet Earth. So yeah, I use that. And then to detangle my hair, I use the Bedhead Beach Freak Moisturizing Detangler Spray. Nothing really to say about this. I like it because it's small. It does the job. It smells nice. And then this is a real game changer for me when I discovered this from L'Oreal Professional. It's their Thermo Modeling Spray. And it really helps keep whatever style I'm using in my hair. I normally have like little curls like I have now and it really helps prolong these curls. So I apply that on my damp hair and then I go into rough dry my hair. Now for this, I use my GHD hair dryer. I'm not actually sure which one this is is which model this is but I'll link it below but what I love about this is the nozzle which comes up a bit later in this routine again but I like using it at my roots because I find it really helps lift my roots does a really good job and then I just go to bed the next day I always find it's much easier to curl my hair when my hair has kind of settled a bit and isn't really fluffy or anything like that now you guys have probably never seen me with natural hair because I never really have natural hair so welcome to natural haired Amelia the first thing I use is this pillow proof two-day extender now, I read this tip online somewhere that if you apply your dry shampoo as soon as you've washed your hair, your blow dry will last longer. That tip or hack, whatever the frick you want to call it, is so good. Honestly, I highly recommend doing this. It does make my hair blow dry, like, last so much longer, especially when I use it, like, the actual day I've washed my hair. So this is my favorite, 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 oh, I just turned it on, favorite thing ever. This is the GHD Classic Curl Tong. And there's also, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a bigger version of this, and I used that when I had longer hair. Hair. but since I've cut my hair I wanted something with a much smaller barrel this is the best color ever I love it so much I just find that there are so many different ways to use this but the way I normally curl my hair is I start in sections I take the bottom section of my hair first and clip the rest up now this is where it gets kind of a bit strange because I curl my hair in different directions so that it gives more volume to the overall finished look at the bottom of my hair I take smaller pieces I make sure to keep the one torus and I curl one going away from my face and then one going towards my face. I find that when I curl them all in one direction, all the curls kind of tend to stick together and they look more like ringlets, which I'm not really going for right now. So I try to switch it up between going towards my face and going away from my face. You'll also notice that I keep the tip of my hair out the actual curler. I just like the way that looks. I find that it gives it more of like an edgy vibe rather than like a full on curl. As I get to the top of my hair, the sections get bigger and bigger basically so that the curls kind of look a lot more voluminous and thick. The thing I really like about this curl wand is I used to actually straighten my hair and then curl my hair. Like, can you believe it? Like, who has the freaking time? <laughs> but this gets actually really hot. So it actually curls my hair and it gets rid of frizz at the same time. It's like that awkward little frizziness that I have. It's just, oh, it's the best, best, best curler. Occasionally, I come across a random kink, which is not the vibes. So I'll use my DHD straighteners and just kind of like run over that really quickly. After curling my hair, I'll just kind of run my hands through through my hair just to break up the curls, make them a bit messy and lived in. This front bit is the bit that I have tried to style and manage for so long. I finally, finally got the hang of it. I bring these front bits to the front and clip the rest of my hair up. I take this amazing brush, which is so good. It's from Pro Blow, and it basically has this interchangeable little top bit that attaches onto the handle so you can change how thick you want this. So I basically
basically take the front sections, put the round brush just at the root of my hair and blow dry it up and out. And then I do the same thing the other way. And then the third time I go over it with some cold air. I actually heard from a hairdresser that that helps seal everything in place and keep your style longer. The last product I use is this Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I've loved this for years and years and years and years and years. It's the best texturizing spray. It's so, so good. I literally spray it everywhere. I spray it at my roots, I spray it at my tips. I just kind of like zhuzh up my hair a bit. enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you in a couple of days time with another video bye guys <laughs>